everyone welcome back to my channel as we had already discussed in our previous video according to bloom's taxonomy learning takes place in three domains which are cognitive affective and psychomotor cognitive domain is related to our brain or our mind or in other words it's related to thinking reasoning or problem solving etc so it basically involves knowledge and development of intellectual skills we have already discussed it in detail in our previous video the link to that video is given in the description below in this video we discuss affective domain of bloom's taxonomy as all of us know very well the aim of education is not to develop intellectual skills only rather it aims at the overall development of the child which means intellectual social emotional physical and moral development etc so the teachers should plan their lessons in such a way that the education imparted by them fulfills this purpose according to bloom's taxonomy whenever we learn something not only our mind but our feelings and emotions are also touched by it and so apart from cognitive domain learning takes place in the affective domain and psychomotor domain as well so in this video we'll discuss affective domain in detail the affective domain was first addressed in 1964 in taxonomy of educational objectives handbook to affective domain the credit for this domain goes to benjamin bloom along with david crawford and masia affective domain is related to emotions attitudes motivation feelings values and beliefs of a person or in other words it is related to the development of appreciation and adjustment of students by bringing a change in their interest attitude and values when our feelings and emotions are also attached with whatever is being taught to us then learning occurs in a better way the point is that no matter how intelligent a person is if he is not willing to study something or he is not taking interest in something that is being taught to him or her then how will he or she learn it properly so the teachers should plan their lessons in such a way that the children take interest in whatever is being taught to them so that they enjoy the learning process according to bloom's taxonomy like the cognitive domain the affective domain also has levels of learning in it so there are five levels in affective domain which are receiving or attention responding valuing organizing and characterizing which is also called internalizing or generalizing like cognitive domain these are also arranged in a hierarchy that is from lowest order process to the highest order process or from simpler feelings to those that are more complex and each level builds upon the lower level and the higher level is the developed or enhanced version of the lower level receiving is the lowest level of affective domain which means that first of all the learners receive the information they become aware of the knowledge being imparted to them when they are in a receiving mode then it means that they are willing to pay attention to what is being taught to them at this level the learners respectfully listen to others and try to understand whatever is being taught to them so it's the least complex thing or feeling but learning cannot take place without this level some level of willingness or attention is required to learn something we cannot learn anything if we are not willing to learn it or if we have no interest in knowing about that thing but here the learner is in a passive mode objectives at this level can be framed as the students will be able to listen attentively or the students will be able to learn the names of newly introduced participants etc the next level of affective domain is responding here the learners have to do a little more than only paying attention and listening to whatever is being taught to them 
at this level the learners take active participation in something being taught to them so here they are not only the passive listeners rather they are active participants in the class which means that now they do not only pay attention towards the lesson being taught to them but they also respond to it willingly and they also show interest towards it and so it means that their behavior is changing and so learning is taking place and they have reached up to responding level of learning in affective domain so when the learners participate in a group discussion or try to give ideas related to the topic being taught to them or give presentations then it means that they are at responding level of learning in affective domain next level is valuing valuing means to appreciate or to cherish something so when the learners start accepting the idea which they have received and responded to or they are able to see the worth of something and express it then it means that they have reached up to this level in affective domain it means that how much value they attach to a particular piece of information or object or behavior or the topic being taught to them so here the learners strongly associate with the lesson or the topic being taught to them they demonstrate devotion to the values being imparted in the class they start following these values in their daily life and in such situations when there is no pressure on them then also they show behavior based on their beliefs and interests that particular idea becomes a part of their value system suppose a teacher while teaching a lesson in the class tells the students that we should always tell the truth we should be kind to others we should always abide by the law and rules and we should always be loyal to our friends etc now at this level the students will not only listen to and respond to whatever the teacher has taught them but they will try to follow these values in their lives so at this level the learners will be able to develop the topic and try to bring it to the next level the next level of affective domain is organizing at this level the learners start organizing and rearranging these values they work for the values and they are committed to those values at this level the learners are able to decide what is most important and what is least important for them and accordingly they organize their values for example whether to pursue their career or their passion so at this level the learners create their own unique value system suppose one day in a class somebody stole some other child's book the teacher asked all the children to check each other's bag one child found the book in his friend's bag now the teacher asked the students whether they have found the book or not now if the child says yes then his friend will get scolded in front of the whole class and so in this case he will not be loyal to his friend plus his friend will also be angry with him and break the friendship with him and if he says no then it means he is lying which is wrong so here he will organize the values and decide to which thing he should give more priority either uh, friendship or speaking the truth and so this is called organizing level where learners organize their values the highest level of affective domain is characterizing or internalizing values at this level learners are able to integrate beliefs thoughts and attitudes now the value becomes a part of their character and they are recognized by it it is displayed by their behavior like gandhi ji is known for his strong values and character so at this level the students build abstract knowledge so the teachers should encourage their students that they do not just receive information but they also respond to whatever they learn they should value it organize it and also even internalize it 
so they should be able to develop positive attitude towards whatever they learn so like the verbs for cognitive domain robert meger has developed verbs for affective domain as well there is a verb chart with the help of which teachers can set learning objectives of the lesson so remember this thing that robert meger had developed the action words or verbs to write the instructional objectives in behavioral terms the action words or verbs used for receiving level are acknowledge ask attentive follow give listen understand attend and recognize etc verbs for responding level are answer assist aid compile confirm discuss greet help label perform present and tell etc verbs for valuing level are appreciate cherish treasure demonstrate initiate invite believe join justify propose respect and share etc verbs for organizing level are compare relate and synthesize systematize clarify examine etc and verbs for characterization or characterizing level are act discriminate display influence modify perform qualify question revise serve solve and verify etc so the teachers can take the help of this verb chart in setting their learning objectives for the effective domain since we have completed the effective domain of bloom's taxonomy now i would like to ask you a few questions so that you can check your understanding i won't be able to hear you but you can assess yourself so the first question is how many levels are there in the effective domain a 7 b 5 c 3 and d 4 and the answer is b that is 5 there are 5 levels of learning in affective domain second question is which of the following is the final outcome of affective domain a change behavior b knowledge creation c better understanding of concepts and d higher examination scores and the answer is a that is changed behavior question number 3 is a child who has the habit of reading science magazines also likes to participate in science festivals and science clubs which objective is displayed by it a knowledge b interest c application and d attitude and the answer is d that is attitude question number 4 is if a student is aggressive in his behavior towards his peer group and does not conform to the norms of the school this student needs help in a cognitive domain b affective domain c psychomotor domain and d cognitive domain and the answer is b that is affective domain question number 5 is that which one is not a sub domain or level of affective domain a responding b valuing c evaluation and d organizing and the answer is c that is evaluation because evaluation is the sub domain or level of cognitive domain question number 6 is for which domain did robert meger develop behavioral terms to write instructional objectives a cognitive b affective c 
psychomotor and D all of the above. And the answer is D all of the above. Robert Meger developed behavioral terms to write instructional objectives for all the three domains of learning. Question number seven is, which of the following verbs can be used in the organizing level of the affective domain? A. Compare B. Discuss C. Attentive and D. Cherish And the answer is A, that is compare. At organizing level, the learner compares different values and organizes them according to their priority. So this was all about affective domain. Next domain of learning is psychomotor domain, about which we'll discuss in our next video. Do watch it and please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet. Meet you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.